Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a really cool way that you can fit more data onto a printed page from Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Now what I have on screen is really not a lot of data. However, when I go to the print preview window we will see that it's on two pages. I'm going to go to print, print preview, page one, page two. So the phone numbers are off the side of the page. Now you may be saying, okay, just put it in landscape, right? So change the page from being more vertical to more horizontal. And in this case, it would work. But it doesn't always work when you have a large amount of data that spans multiple pages and you need to neatly fit it onto a page. Or if I had sales data that went all the way over to say column in, then it would not fit on a landscape page. So I'm going to show you how to shrink that or do what's called scaling. Now it's important to note that you don't actually change the way that anything looks within Excel. It is only changed for printing. So when the printed page comes out it looks different than it does in Excel. Now it's really easy to do. I'm going to show you um, or tell you first of all how to get to this feature in a previous version of Excel. You need to go to the page setup window. To get to the page setup window in a previous version of Excel, go to file page setup. So it's really easy. File page setup. That's how you do it in a previous version of Excel. It's just right there. Now, um, the window is actually going to look like what I'm about to show you. But if you are in Excel 2007, you want to go to the page layout tab. And on the page layout tab, we see a page setup box right here. Now real quick, if you click this button, at the bottom right of the page setup box, you get the window how it looks in a previous version of Excel. Now to scale in a previous version of Excel, simply go to the scaling section right here and adjust right here. 100% of normal size, 90% of normal size, etc. That's how you do it in a previous version. But let's go ahead and do it in this version. Okay. So there's also a scale to fit box right next to the page setup box. And the scale to fit box is what's going to shrink everything. So now that I've been to print preview and fiddled with a few printing options, we can see exactly what's going to fit on one page with these little dotted lines. So we know that the phone number is going to be printed on a second page. Now all we have to do, go to the scale box, click the down arrow and check it out. We scale it to 95% and the phone number fits right on one page. Back up to 100% and it doesn't fit on the page. Alternatively, you can actually make it bigger. So if you want to make text bigger so it's easier to read, but you don't want to change your spreadsheet, you know, you can increase the size. Now it doesn't look like we're doing much here, right? Just these little dotted lines are moving over. But when we go to print preview, we will notice a dramatic difference. So you can see that everything is much larger than it was before. If I zoom out, but let's go ahead and scale back to 95%. That way everything fits on one page. So you see there is no next or previous page, preview, page one of one. All fits on one page. And in all honesty, you're probably not going to be able to tell unless you're holding two documents side by side right next to each other to compare the size because 95% uh, scaling is going to be not that noticeable. So that's how you can scale the document to um, fit more stuff on one page. Now one cool feature that they don't particularly have right here and it's how to automatically fit the data onto a certain number of pages. And they do have it right here. I'll go through that in a second, but I really think the old way is more intuitive. So in the scale to fit box, click the bottom right hand corner, and then we'll see the fit to. So you have adjust to, which you do by hand, which is guessing or fit to. And this is the same as up here. It's just, it tells you a little bit, it just helps you more, I think, right? So we want to fit this on one page wide by one page tall. Now all that means is I want to fit it on one page. If you had a lot of data that say took up five pages, you could say one page wide by three pages. So it would shrink it to fit onto three pages. 
Now this doesn't always give you the result you want, so you know, it may not be as visually appealing as you would like it to, so you always have to check it. But that's how, if we do one page wide by one page tall, click OK, we can see that 97% is all we have to scale it to to fit the phone number on. Now, this works the same way, right? How wide do you want it? One page. How high do you want it? One page. So this is exactly the same. It just doesn't have that text in the middle to explain to you that it would be one page wide by one page tall. So that's really all there is to it in terms of scaling the printed data to fit more of it onto a page. And this is actually a very simple example with not too much data. But if you have a lot of data and you've got graphs and charts that you need to fit onto a page, you're going to spend quite a bit of time with the scale to fit feature to make sure that everything looks perfect. Um, but really that's one of the best ways to not have to change your spreadsheet that much while at the same time having it look just great when it prints. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Otherwise that's pretty much it for this tutorial.